this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This D Channel Guns coming as another gun video. Appreciate you watching, like, share, and subscribe. So I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I appreciate all the good information. I appreciate y'all coming to the video. Appreciate all the support and love. Appreciate everything that y'all do for the 2 a community. Now, uh, with that said, y'all the star, and I'm just the master. I'm just the average citizen trying to preserve the Second Amendment for future generations. So uh, this video here, I just want to share a story because, you know, um, I was reading some of the comments and someone was talking about some of the crazy things that they're doing for ammo and everything, how they feel like they're late and, you know, they're just trying to play catch up and seem like they just can't get ahead. And they were just telling me, tell, talking about all the stuff that they've been doing to get ammo. So, you know, just, you know, thinking about that story, um, I know there are some crazy ammo stories out there. So I just want to show you this ammo story, um, you know, with y'all and everything, um, um, this is the time when Walmart had put out that they were going to stop selling their ammo. And, you know, they had, you know, the yellow stickers. I'm talking about, you know, prices was getting slashed all over the place. Slashed in half. I'm talking about, you know, ridiculous prices that a lot of us got. Um, enjoyed, you know, buying all the ammo for so cheap and everything. And, you know, we look back on it now. Um, and some of us probably regret that we, you know, we didn't jump on it when we should. But, you know, I wanted to tell you about this, this ammo story. So, at the time that Walmart had cut their ammo and everything, you know, the price was, you know, with cheating, slash and stuff. Now, you know, I went around and caught some great deals and, you know, bought, got a whole lot of ammo. So, you know, I had a friend, uh, one of my buddies, he said that uh, uh, he was going to, you know, catch up some ammo and stuff like that. So, he was like, you know, man, he, he wanted me to ride with him while he go to Walmart and get all this ammo. So I'm telling him, uh, you know, you're a little late to the party. I'm talking about the ammo is gone. So he didn't believe me. So, you know, he come get me and everything. So we ride to the Walmarts and stuff, right? Now, in my mind, I already know, uh, you know, it, it, he'd be lucky to find anything on them shelves. I'm talking about the shelves was white clean. Everybody done bought all the ammo. So, you know, he said he was going to, he was going to prove me wrong that it was some ammo out there at the Walmart. So, uh, we went around, uh, to the first Walmart, you know, go up in there, shelves clean. I'm talking about, we see the stickers, but no ammo. And so, you know, we leave that Walmart. We go to another Walmart and another Walmart. I'm talking about shelves. People, when the word is out, the ammo is gone. I'm talking about, it was spread like on the internet, like wildfire. It was all in the media. And so I'm telling him, I said, man, you're too late. You should have jumped on it at the time I told you to do it to start with. So we done hit up, we done went to like five or six Walmarts. No ammo. I'm talking about nothing. And we rode that whole day. He's trying to prove me wrong that some of the Walmarts still got some ammo. They had the ammo, but not, not what he was looking for. Uh, you know, they still had like the hunting cows and stuff like that, but that ain't what he was looking for. He was looking for your nines, your 45s, your 40s, and your 223s. I'm talking about he, we couldn't find nothing. So we in North Carolina. So we riding and riding. So I look up. Next thing, we, we don't roll so much. So next thing we know, we end up in Virginia. So we went to a Virginia Walmart. They didn't have nothing. So we've been riding the whole day to the Walmarts. And I'm talking about it, it, it was to the point. It was just pitiful. I said, man, all the ammo is gone. He didn't believe me. So, you know, I'm talking about, we rode, we, we hit so many Walmarts, but we rode a, a long ways. We ended up in Virginia to, to two Walmarts in Virginia, and they was wiped clean. But, you know, like I said, uh, you know, when, when people, uh, when it comes to ammo, you have to get it when you can. And I wanted to share that story with y'all because I had a friend who I've been trying to tell him for a long time to, to get the ammo while he could, especially at Walmart and stuff. He never done it. Never would do it. Say, oh, it ain't going nowhere. And, you know, I, it, you know, I proved him wrong that, and, you know, to, to this day, right now, uh, you know, he bring up that story when we rode all the Walmart in up Virginia looking for ammo. And we went a long ways, people. And it was no ammo in the Walmart for, for miles and miles and miles. So, you know, right now, um, you know, he pretty much had redeemed himself from that because he has been stockpiling and stuff like that. But don't be that person don't be my friend 
who you ride to all the ammo places and there is no ammo. Don't be him. I'm talking about, you know, prepare yourself, people. But like I said, I wanted to share that story with you because like I said before, <laughs> I'm talking about, it, the, the word was out. I'm talking about the ammo was gone. He couldn't believe it. I'm talking about, so we went to, he trying to prove me that we was ammo at the Walmarts. And like I said, it won't up but yellow stickers to everyone we went to, the shelves were wiped clean. So, just want to show you that ammo story, people. You're not the only one riding around looking for ammo uh, and stuff like that. But like I said, when the word is out, it is too late. So, I just want to show you that story, that Walmart story and stuff, where we went to many, 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 many Walmarts and stuff, and the shelves were white clean. So, the word gets out quick. So, like I said before, I just want to show you that story because somebody was talking about the ammo story. So, this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.